Hello and welcome to IB Times TV. I'm Liana Brinder, Business Editor for the International Business Times. Joining me now is Ansas Grasmanis and he's the CFO of Swedbank Latvia. So hi, thanks for joining mm -hmm. us. Um, so let's just uh, kick off straight away with the fact that Latvia has the second fastest growth in the EU. Um, what would you say are the main drivers behind that and how are you guys tapping into that growth? We have to look back a little bit in the history. Uh, Maybe the further, uh, further we go away, then the picture is not so nice. Latvia had the, the biggest fall uh, during the financial the crisis. Um, so now I would say after uh, three, four, four years, we have definitely learned our lesson uh, how to more, be more sustainable. And I would say that uh, we currently experience the fruits of, of the policy makers and uh, the economy uh, coming back. Uh, so on a quite wide um, kind of scene, mostly driven by exports um, on the last two years. Uh, and also later, uh, especially last year, picking up on internal consumption. So that is, uh, I would say, quite uh, a good base uh, for, for current economical development. So we are quite glad about this. But with the introduction to the euro, it's actually pushed up consumer prices for the first time. Are you guys worried about the impact that's going to be having on local business? Um, I'm looking very positively on the new currency for the Latvian economy. Um, that kind of removes one uh, one important uh, kind of factor, the FX rate. We are a small open uh, country and, um, and it, is, it has been a difficult uh, to, to, to manage uh, this, this risk aspect for the country. Now this has been removed and uh, definitely will give a confidence both, I would say, uh, for local businesses, for export orienting uh, companies and also for investment climate. It's definitely easy to compare and uh, our neighbours, Estonia, have been in the Euroland and uh, um, we can learn a lot from them as well. Uh, hopefully Lithuania will join next year. They are on the track. Um, yes, uh, on the consumer prices, that's, uh, I would say, a concern. Um, but not, uh, not so big in the nearest future, I would say. But definitely the next challenge for Latvia, uh, in my mind, is to keep up uh, efficiency. We have been very good after crisis to keep up the efficiency measures and that has given a fundamental growth and stable, uh, stable growth. Now um, export is still growing uh, but we can see that uh, the wage pressure is already up, uh, wage growth is rather high. Um, but uh, currently we keep up with efficiency but that's area to, to monitor. But while you're looking to expand, one of the biggest issues for any CFO out there is actually balancing regulation and compliance and, of course, keeping costs low and not letting it eat into that balance sheet. How do you manage to balance that? That's a whole topic about today's conference. So, um, yes, that is definitely the hottest topic on the, each CFO's uh, table at the moment to balance, to be the business partner and still keep up with regulatory uh, kind of burden or or you know, change, I would say. Um, uh, it's inevitable that uh, we have to strengthen certain areas globally. We have certain changes in Basel III. Now Swedbank Latvia is also part of 130 banks, uh, will be monitored by ECB. And we are going through the stress test um, and this uh, um, qualitative risk assessment. Uh, currently and that will add costs and uh, will add also you know a challenge to manage the whole process during the, this year but I'm looking quite confidently uh, on this we are uh, in the same I would say boat it's nothing unique for Latvia um, we will go through this first time but as do other countries and other banks um, a lot of uncertainty still about the process today. Uh, we don't know how it will end up. We approximately know the framework. Uh, the work has started, um, but uh, we'll see. But where are you looking to expand to when you've got all these cost burdens circulating? 
Latvia is a small market and uh, Swedbank operates in four markets in the all three Baltic countries and in Sweden. And uh, I would say Latvia has to be looked in context of the Baltic countries in this case because we are really too small um, uh, on our own. And uh, now in this regulation uh, burden or you know, is it, is it actually not only regulation, there is also the industry trends when the customer experience is actually shifting and moving more into digital channels. Uh, our branch network is transforming at the moment, as actually as we speak, uh, the physical branch network will probably, or most probably, it will actually decrease, but it will be much more activity in internet bank and uh, mobile banking activity. And that transformation uh, we can capture only with the scale. And then how we work is we work on the Baltic uh, unit and we try to capture this scale on our Baltic business division so that we have a cost base, um, you know, uh, we have a business uh, uh, scale which can capture the increased costs if necessary. And we try to harmonize as well the processes and, uh, and um, internal regulations. So rounding off, one of the other major risks that all financials face, but yet sometimes has been pushed aside for concerns over regulation, burdens and costs, is cybersecurity. So financials are naturally hit by anything from DDoS attacks to hacking into accounts. So how does Swedbank Latvia bolster themselves against those threats? Well, in banking, uh, for us, uh, cybersecurity has been always on, on very, very high agenda. Uh, thankfully, we haven't had very high losses on, in, this, in this area, but, um, but we have to be alerted on all the time. And I would say it's, it's two. It's not, uh, it's not only about stealing money, as uh, classically we would, we would think. It's, it could be actually much wider issues, as Estonia experienced uh, quite a few years ago when they had uh, uh, DDoS attacks for the whole country, when the whole country was attacked. Uh, but then they got and learned about this and, you know, we have a saying, if you don't get killed, you always come out stronger after the, <laughs> uh, such experiences. So definitely we as a bank have strengthened and, and focused on every experience we, we come uh, or hear in the, in the professional area. Uh, but that is the area I think in future as, as more the customers will be shifting into digital channels, the security is actually now much more now focused about, uh, you know, cyber crime rather than physical security. <laughs> Of course, physical security consumes a lot of labor and that is, is, is costly. But uh, in terms of uh, intelligence and complexity, uh, of course, now the cybercrime is, is much more uh, hot topic. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. That was Ansys Grassmanis, CFO at Swedbank Latvia.